Guys, the last thing I'm gonna say is why in the hell would you take something that is gonna make you lose years off your life just to look a little bit bigger? So the reason for me making this video, because I've never wanted to make a video like this, is because my grandmother, my 87 year old grandmother, asked me if I take steroids. And this sprouted from my uncle, who actually showed her a picture of me, I'm not sure what picture, but I'm assuming it's one of my Instagram pictures, or something I posted on Facebook. And he basically said, there's no way that he did this, meaning me, in that short amount of time without taking steroids. And so, my grandmother, she loves me dearly, she was, she cares about me, she asked me, she said, have you ever taken steroids? And I was like, uh, of course not, grandma, like, first of all, do you know how expensive steroids are? And um, do you know how much money I make? <laughs> do you know that I'm a college student? And um, so that was my first thing I said to her, and then she said, you've never taken them at all? Not even at once? And right then and there, I kind of started to think, I'm like, well, I really take for granted how much people understand about steroids and even testosterone, for that matter, if you're ingest, in, injecting testosterone. You lose the progress you've made once you stop taking whatever you're taking. So with that being said, on top of my thing talking about how expensive steroids are, my other thing is if I needed and had the money and needed these steroids consistently, I would have to spend that money over the course of years in order to maintain the progress that I've made. And obviously I'm going to want to maintain that progress if I'm on steroids, considering all of you guys see the pictures I post, and if you see a noticeable difference in the way I'm looking from one month to the next, or one year to the next, clearly something is up. So getting to kind of a little bit more in depth of reasoning to why someone would think I'm on steroids and why it would be completely idiotic of them. The first is to know my past and how I got to where I am. So when people ask me, they always ask me, how long have you been training for? My answer is always, I've been training on my own for two years and doing my own diet coaching by myself, of myself, for two years. So I've been doing my own dieting, which I've done for my whole life, I guess, but I've actually learned how to diet properly over the last two years. Those two years were also programmed by myself. I did all my own programming in terms of the lifts I was doing, the rep ranges I was doing, what exercise I was doing. Before that, I did lift. It wasn't as though two years ago I just picked up weights and went into the gym for the first time ever. I trained for sports. And that's why I always say before that I trained in high school for sports. So basically what I want you guys to take away from that is just the fact that I had a base. I wasn't some... I mean, I was small, I was lean, I was skinny, but I was 130 pounds and I was athletic. I played D-back, I was an honorable mention, all-conference D-back in the Classic 8, which is a really good conference in the state of Wisconsin. So I wasn't unathletic. I wasn't someone who was lacking in athletic ability. I just wasn't as big as I am now. When I graduated, I weighed about 130, 135 pounds, and right now, this morning, I weighed 153 pounds. So when I graduated, that was in 2014 from high school, and that's basically the gist of how I got into these past two years. So you can't just look at those two years and say, okay, well, there's no way you made all that gains in two years. Well, you're right, because I didn't. I had a baseline of knowledge in terms of lifting in general. And then, after those two years, I basically did my own research, did my own research on nutrition, and did my own research when it came to how I could train differently in order to ch obtain different goals, in order to actually build my physique up, develop my muscles, and train in hypertrophy rep ranges in order to grow my muscles. The way you're lifting is going to completely depend on the way you're trying to develop your body. And if you're developing your body in a way that um, is trying to just get bigger, you're going to need hypertrophy rep ranges, which is something I wasn't doing in high school, which is why I didn't get bigger. But the main thing why I didn't get bigger in high school is because my nutrition sucked. 
once I got my nutrition up point and once I actually learned how to eat properly, learned that I needed X amount of protein, learned I needed a gram of protein per pound of body weight in order to properly recover, in order to properly build muscle. From there, once I learned that, that is when I made huge progress. And, pe and for people, that really kind of, it, it's confusing to them because they're like, how did you make so much progress so quick? Well, it's like, I really just did the things that I needed to do. And then on top of that, moving into my next point, my genetics and my muscle insertions, the way that my muscles insert into my body, that is all dependent on your genetics. You can't choose that. So how your muscles look, how your abs look, the way they're shaped, that's all dependent on genetics. You can thank your mom and dad for that. Besides that, guys, when it comes to how you're looking, you can develop you into the best you possible. But I will never have Jeff Seed's genetics. I will never have his crazy abs that will probably show it whatever body fat percentage he is on. But that's just the genetic pool. And that's where a lot of times athletes like LeBron James, I could work my ass off for the rest of my life, shoot basketball, or shoot basketball, shoot shots every day, more times, more hours of the day that he trains, and I will never be better at basketball than him. Just like those guys who are IFBB pros, they're probably on steroids. They are on steroids, but they still would be huge people whether they are on steroids or not. So yes, they might not weigh 250 pounds at a 5% body fat, but they might weigh 200 pounds or 190 and still be freaking huge if they weren't on steroids. So my point is guys, genetics are huge when it comes to my leanness. My genetics allow me to stay lean naturally. I have a metabolism that allows me to not put on a ton of fat when I'm bulking and allows me to eat a large amount of calories while I'm bulking. So if I'm eating 5,000 calories a day while I'm bulking and not putting on a ton of extra fat because I'm using all the energy in the gym, someone who's eating 5,000 calories who has a different type of metabolism from me, someone who might put on weight a little bit easier, they're going to struggle with eating 5,000 calories and they're going to put on a ton of extra fat than they need to just because that's the way their metabolism is set up. So in order to kind of get an idea of who you are and who someone else is, you have to kind of understand the body type they have and then also look at their genetics. Look at the way they have been raised. I was a skinny kid. I have trouble putting on weight. So in order for me to put on weight, I have to almost force feed myself in order to do that. So if that's something that you have to do, you're probably in the same boat as I am having that hard gainer type of body. So my point is with that, you can't look at me and say, oh, you're so lean all the time, that's impossible unless you're taking steroids. Well, no, I'm just blessed and I have a hard gainer, as people say, or I have a lean physique all the time. When I don't eat, I lose weight. It's not like, I, when I'm not on my nutrition, it's me not eating. It's not me binging on a ton of food. That's me not hitting my goals because my appetite goes away. That's just how I am. And I'm, I'm thankful for it, I don't like to complain about it, but when people say, oh, you're lean all the time, that's a huge sign of you being on steroids, that's not true at all. Um, that's just my body, and I'm blessed for it, but I'm someone who has to really fight to keep that weight on. Um, so I kind of went a little bit more in depth than that than I wanted to, but this is good. I'm really kind of explaining myself, and I think this is going to really help a lot of people out. Um, Moving into the next thing, um, I talked about a little bit like muscle insertions, how your muscles look guys, that's going to all depend on your genetics. You can develop your muscles and get them bigger, but you're not going to be able to change the shape. Um, that's literally impossible. Um, so how your muscles look, the way you look in proportion to your body, is going to all depend on your genetics. Some people just have more an aesthetic appeal than others. Like James Liss, if you guys know who that is, he's... I guarantee that guy probably doesn't even weigh as much as I do, maybe 150 pounds, 160 pounds at the most, and I, I really don't even think he weighs that to be honest, but he's super lean all the time and he has a very um, lean physique like I do. I'm not saying he's natural, I'm not saying he's not, but his proportions into the amount of muscle he actually has, he really doesn't have that much muscle on him, he just looks really aesthetic and really proportionate with the muscle he does have, and he also has really great genetics in terms of his physique overall. So. Moving on besides that, guys, it goes back to my point of nutrition, knowing what you're doing. And then beyond that, once you know what you're doing and you have the right blueprint, it's all about just executing and putting in hard work to actually making it happen. I live, For these last two years, guys, sports have been my life throughout high school. These last two years, when I was in college, when I've been going through school, my life was school, my family, 
my friends, and the gym. I enjoyed it. That was my goals. I, I enjoyed making a goal and going and getting it. My first year, I spent a ton of time working on my strength. I built on my strength. I worked on my squat the most. I eventually was able to squat like 315, started squatting 315 for reps. Then eventually I squat 335, 365. This past summer, I hit 405. So I, I built up my strength, built that foundation, and then this last year is really when I got my upper body in tune with my lower body. And that's where people are like, oh, how'd you put on so much size so quickly? Well, I really, realistically, like I was telling you before, you change up your training style, you go more hypertrophy than strength, and I change based on my goals, and then I attack. And I make sure that I'm consistent, and I make sure that I have everything on point, and if something isn't working out, then I reevaluate and I make adjustments. And that's what you have to do. You have to adjust to your body and you have to adjust to the way that you are, are basically attacking things. If your body is reacting one way, you have to make an adjustment. If it's reacting this way, you have to make an adjustment. So really, realistically guys, I just want you to understand that having a plan and having the knowledge is only half the battle. You have to go to the gym and put in the work. And that's where I think a lot of people are, they have this misconception like, oh, well, you're on steroids, you're on this. Well, even if I was on steroids, you still got to put in the work to make the results happen. Um, and, and for someone who's natural, to be said that, you, to be told that you're on steroids when you know for a fact and your loved ones, like my girlfriend, can attest that there's no way in hell I'm on steroids and there's no way in hell I could afford steroids, first of all, it's just simply annoying and it almost is it almost is insulting and that's where I wanted to make this video more lighthearted and I want to explain to you guys the way I feel and just my mindset when I talk about things and I hope it really helps you guys out just simply because I I feel so annoyed when I have someone tell me that it just makes me like laugh almost because it's so idiotic if I was on steroids guys moving into the next thing I would weigh I would, there's no way in hell I would weigh 150 pounds. If I did, there's something wrong. If I'm taking steroids, I want to be, I would be 180 pounds, 190 pounds, like jacked. Like I have good genetics and I'm thankful for that. And if I put, took steroids, which is a completely idiotic thing to do in terms of your health, your family, your morals, which is my last point, which I'll get to, there's no reason why I would weigh 150 pounds if I was on steroids and have trouble gaining weight. So I'll just leave it at that. Moving on to my next point, the picture thing. What I show, what what picture my my uncle showed my grandma is what I'm kind of interested in because when I take pictures, guys, when people take pictures in the fitness industry, they're gonna take the best picture possible. They're gonna use a nice camera. I have an $800 camera, guys. My iPhone shoots in 4K resolution and video. I can edit pictures. You can change the the, the lighting in the room. I never Photoshop pictures, but I definitely change the lighting and stuff. You're gonna make the saturation go up a little bit, put the shadows up. So you have to be real and think like, okay, someone's gonna take 100 pictures and they're gonna take the one picture that looks the best, makes them look the biggest. So it's just funny to me when guys are saying, oh, well, yeah, you look huge in this picture, like you, you're so veiny, blah, blah, blah. Well, yeah, I'm in half natty lighting, really good lighting that makes me look huge and vascular. I have a pump in the gym and like compared to now, so like look at my arm right now. Like, like I mean, yeah, it looks decent, but that's because also I'm on a wide angle camera. So if you're in a wide angle lens, the edges are going to make you look a little bit bigger because it's a wide angle, has that like fishbowl effect. So there's tons of different ways that distort things and people just get so caught up in one little thing oh, you look like you're on roids in this one picture. Like, well, no, they just probably had a huge pump and they took a really freaking good picture. So, and they probably edited it. Like, they changed the lighting, made it tweaks. So it's like, guys, you have to look at things in a very small window and just say, okay, let's think about this from the outside perspective rather than just saying steroids. So that's pretty much the, all I have to say, guys. That is the last thing I'm going to say. I have more self-respect for my family for myself, self-respect, more respect for my family, more respect for my friends, my loved ones, than to be selfish enough to take something to make my physique bigger and look better, to lose years off my life and potentially years with my kids, years with my wife. I just can't do it and I see no benefit in it at all. Um, dying younger just to look a little bit bigger and look a little bit better and maybe get some more followers is not something I wanna do. And that is why I wanted to make this video and I hope that it really helps you guys out and um, helps you kind of understand before you look at someone and say, oh, they're on steroids. Maybe think about how much hard work they put in, the, the morals that they have as people, and also 
if they've been doing it for a while and if they can maintain it. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys for watching. I know this is a little bit of a rant video, a little bit longer than I wanted to, but if you're still watching, I appreciate it. Um, please like the video if you enjoyed it. Um, share this if you think that someone might benefit from hearing this if they're always claiming that people are on steroids and um, maybe themselves need to just do some research and make some gains and put in some hard work themselves. Um, thank you guys. Have a good one. Peace out. I'll see you guys in the next one.